Welcome to FRC Recap for the 2022 Indiana Robotics Invitational. I'm Tyler Olds. IRI every year is known as one of the best, if not the best, event in FRC, and truly this year showed off some of the pinnacle of what Rapid React can be. Typically held each year at Lawrence North High School, this year due to renovations, we shifted a bit south of the Indianapolis area to Columbus, Indiana, home of 4926 Galactech, where to be honest with you, if you've never been to an IRI before, you didn't miss a beat. Apparently every high school in Indiana just has these massive gymnasiums that could seat more people than you probably ever need for a regional style event. So let's jump more in and hear about IRI. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. 48 teams from the U.S., Mexico, and Canada descended upon the Indiana Robotics Invitational with intense play. I mean, we're talking the teams in quals losing with scores of over 150 points. Like in quals 50, for example, where the alliance of 74-57, 2075, and 340 scored 155 points, but still lost to 1730, 27, and 180, who had 169. There were some very interesting shakeups near the end of qualifications. If we go into Saturday, day two, 33 had two very top matches to play against, and they won one of them, and the other one they lost, but still got the two RP, and this secured them the number one seed. 2056 won by just one point in their last quals match, which is match number 78 to take the number two seed, and just below them, 180 and 195, played in a match together, but lost, which ended up bumping up 4499 into the fourth seed. 180 took third still, but 195 dropped into fifth. Ranks would round up with 27, 67, and six, 27, and seventh, and 13, 39, and eighth. Alliance selection was a bit interesting this year as 33 Killer Bees was declined by the number two seed, 2056 OP Robotics, and then they ended up picking up the ninth ranked team, 1706 Ratchet Rockers, who were division winners at champs. They would wind up their alliance with 5712 Hemlocks Gray Matter, and in the next round and the last pick of IRI, pick up 1533 Triple Strange. Remember, at IRI, alliance selection is 1 through 8, 1 through 8, and then 8 through 1. Number 2 alliance would be comprised of Team 2056 OP Robotics, who at the time had 8, count them, 8 IRI victories so far, and that was prior to this year, which we'll talk about. And 180 Spam, who was their first alliance pick, came off an early exit chance, but wow, that they absolutely impressed both during quals and playoffs. Joining them was uh, championship finalists, 4099 the Falcons, and rounding up the alliance, 3357 the Comets, coming out of Michigan. There were so many other amazing alliances, as always, at IRI, but one other one that caught our eye going into the quarters and the playoff matches was a number five alliance, the 2767 Strike Force, 3538 Robojackets, 1023 Bedford Express, and 1732 Hilltoppers. More to come later. Quarters didn't feature too many surprises. The number six alliance of 27, 4635, 2075, and 7457 knocked off the number three alliance of 4499, 118, 624, and 1987 in just two matches. And the number five alliance would take out the number four alliance in three matches. Number four alliance was comprised of Team 195, who honestly might have been the most improved team I've seen. If you look at, especially early on in the year, their performance compared to where it was at IRI, being the number four team uh, overall, great improvement for them. Uh, and rounding up the alliance, 67, 25, 39, and 23, 63. Let's talk semis, though. That's where all the action really was at with the course of number one versus number five alliance. You may have seen our extended discussion on FRC Roundup, but let's cover some basics that went into this match. Semifinal one was one of the most intense matches of IRI, with scores being extremely close the majority of the match. Much of it was looking at as it was going Blue's way, but with 40 seconds left, the score shifted to favor Red, as 57-12 was able to outpower 10-23 as the third robot on the field in terms of scoring capacity. There were also some key falls against 2767 during the match for contact that added up against the Blue Alliance. Surprisingly, only two robots in each alliance climbed with just one traversal and one mid-run climb for both alliances. 
Red would take this match 159 to 154, but there was a yellow card assessed against the Red Alliance and 1706 for... A yellow card has been issued to 1706 for egregious repeated behavior of carrying more than two cargo at a time during the match. Match two scores would be in favor of Red much of the match, but Red did climb a bit early and unfortunately 33 fell and Blue would take this match 174 to 156. Now in the semifinal one, match number three, this match would start off like any other, but with 123 seconds left in the match, 10-23 and 57-12 would collide, sending an absolute shockwave across the field, and unfortunately, a clipper tank being exploded with shrapnel going into the stand. Holy Moses! I don't think that's ever happened before! Now, luckily, nobody was hurt. But it did practically knock out 1023. And well, for most of us, really shocked us uh, for a little bit to figure out what was going on in the field as we just heard this intense explosion. But it would be the Red Alliance that would move onto the finals against the number two alliance as they were able to take the third match. To hear more about the situation, make sure you check out FRC Roundup, where we have the number five alliance drive coach uh, from 2767, Corey, to give his perspective on the semifinals and the rest of IRI. Both finals matches were not as close as others that we've seen. Red Alliance did take an early lead in finals match number one, but they'd go with the three offensive robot strategy. Meanwhile, Blue Alliance taking the more traditional two offensive, one defensive robot strategy, where 4099 would play some really tough defense against 1706. With about 90 seconds left, Blue would take the lead and just not look back. Scores were close enough for climbs to make a difference, but unfortunately 33 had issues again and were not able to climb, resulting in a 162 to 133 Blue Alliance victory. Finals 2 saw a similar auto, but Blue did change up their strategy a little bit, sending 2056 to play a bump and run defense against 33, which had some good disruptions during the match. Well, unfortunately, until things really went wrong for Red, because at 114 seconds left, 5712 disconnected from the field and wouldn't reconnect until 65 seconds left in the match. Meanwhile, at 85 seconds left, 33 disconnected from the match and didn't get reconnected until 3 seconds left, and unfortunately, just not able to get over to the hangar and climb in time. And this will result in a 161 to 103 Blue Alliance victory. And with them taking the championship there and 2056 taking their ninth victory at IRI. Well, congratulations, of course, to the winners 2056, 180, 4099, and 3357. Also a really big thank you, by the way, to the planning committee at IRI and all the host teams there. IRI was a little bit different this year, but it still had a great set of teams. It was awesome to be back after three years. And of course they had the sweet corn and we know that it's not just about robots, it's about the core. Reporting for First Updates Now, we'll see you next time at FRC Recap. I'm Tyler Olds. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.